Welcome to Persian Studio. In the last chapter of Zal's tale, he achieves his heart's desire. But what will be the fate? Let's hear it all together. Zal's return to Sam's presence. On the other hand, Zal arrived in Zabal with his companions. His arrival was announced loudly, prompting Sam to welcome him. After exchanging greetings, both heroes entered Sam's court and began conversing. Initially, Sam mentioned Sindok's arrival from Kabul and the message she brought from Marib. Zal, with a joyful smile on his face, relayed the message from Manacher to his father and Sam. Sam was delighted to hear that Manacher had no objections to his marriage with Rudabeh. Zal suggested that Sam should go to Kabulstan and formally ask for Rudabeh's hand in marriage from her father. The news was quickly spread to Marib, who was overjoyed. Preparations were made for the grand event, with messengers dispatched to inform Marib of Sam's arrival. Meanwhile, Sam and his troops reached Kabul, welcomed warmly by Marib. A celebration ensued at Marib's palace, with music and joy filling the air. The bond between the two young lovers was celebrated by all. After three weeks of festivities, the wedding concluded, and the newlyweds set off for Zabal. Following another week of celebration in Zabal, Marib returned to Kabul while Rudabeh stayed with her mother due to the distance. Sam went to Gorgsarin to handle remaining threats, ensuring the country's border security. The birth of Rostam. After some time had passed, Rudabeh became pregnant and her belly grew so large and swollen that her complexion turned yellow. Seeing this, Sindakt, who was greatly distressed by the situation, asked Rudabeh, My dear mother, what has happened that you have turned so yellow? Rudabe replied, Oh, my dear mother, hear my plea, for I have no rest day and night and I am very despondent. It feels as though I am carrying a heavy burden, as if someone has placed iron in my heart. I fear that I may not survive the birth and be unable to see my child. Upon hearing these words, Sindak became even more restless and upset about Rudabe turning yellow. One day, Rudabe arrived in pain, collapsed to the ground, and lost consciousness. News reached Sindokt, who in her distress tore at her hair. She then ordered Zal to be informed of the news. Zal rushed to Rudabeh's bedside, deeply saddened and anguished. In the midst of this, a thought struck Zal, and he comforted Sindokt and remembered the Simurg. The fire was lit, and the Simurg feather was cast into the flames. Suddenly, a bird appeared in the air, it was the very Simurg that Zal had raised. The Simurg then approached Zal, exchanged greetings, and spoke of Rudabeh. In response, the Simurg said, You will become the parent of a child who will be very strong and powerful, so mighty that even the lion will fall before him, and his voice will make the leopard's skin tear. Pay close attention to what I am telling you. Firstly, make Rudabeh unconscious with the medicine I give you, then bring a wise and insightful person to split her side with a sharp dagger and bring out the baby. Then, apply a herb that I will tell you the name of on the wound. Simurg said this, then flew to the sky, and Zal thanked him greatly. Then, he did exactly what Simurg had instructed, and a boy was born who no one had ever seen the like of, leaving everyone amazed. They celebrated and rejoiced for a few days, named the child Rostam, and sent a messenger to inform Sam of Rostam's arrival. Years passed until Rostam grew up to become a great and powerful champion, whose fame and prowess filled the whole world, making him unmatched and the protector of the people of Iran. We hope you enjoyed the tale as much as we enjoyed bringing them to life. If you did, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Persian Studio videos. Stay tuned for more captivating Persian audiobooks. Until next chapter.